welcome to the third episode of my Let's Play featuring Nagaoka in Fall of the Samurai. Now in the, in the battle that was just that just happened right now, the enemy Sado decided to besiege one of my cities at you, which was a big mistake because I had many units stationed in that castle waiting for him to do just that, basically throw away his troops. You can see the kill death ratio is 3 to 1 in my favour and mo like 400 of my guys, well 391 of my guys that I lost are garrison units, so they're worthless anyway. By worthless, I mean that when this battle, when I click OK now, they'll get fully replenished anyway, so it's just, yeah, the results speak for themselves, basically. Look at, look at just these kills by the Katana Kachi. See, it's just, it's an amazing defensive unit, the Katana Kachi. He does very well in cities. The best way to kill them off if uh, you're attacking is by using artillery or by using naval bombardment naval bombardment sorry oh and he has a little fleet here with some guys in them and that i want to kill torso and choshu both of them are imperialist scum and they've decided to fight each other that's fine you know they can do that as much as they want to Get some little katana catch up to a chigo. Because, uh, like I noticed in the last episode, Morioka is actually at war with me, and they are very big and very scary. So, yeah, I kind of backed the wrong horse on that one. Now then. Once again, I'm going to leave my melee units in the city, and I'm going to run up and strike Noto. Yeah, it's mine. What do you have to say to that? Huh? So do. Yeah. He got crushed. Now, what is that? The remnant of that little army going to do now? Maybe they'll try to attack Kaga. That would be fun. Need to turn off the taxes to keep them from revolting. The bastards. Oh, I'm so close to this give. This does not give one mo modernization, so I'm gonna have to build something somewhere that does. And uh, cottage industry actually does, and I'll be able to afford it the next turn. Uh, will I still be able to afford it? I don't think so. Actually, yes, I will. Because 1002 is not 1003. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> everything is going according to plan. Now then, we might have a, another battle very quickly, actually. This might be a very, very short episode indeed. Uh, in which case, I do apologize. It just sort of happens. Let's see, shall we? It, depends on, it just depends on what kind of ships he has. And yeah, he won't be because he has crap ships. He has Kitan class and I have Kasuka class. And uh, Kasuka beats Kitan. So, I lost my Kitan, I don't care because I hate that ship. However, he did manage to run away. Ah yes, but I can finish him off. No, I can't, that's a different fleet. Okay. So he basically, he has several fleets, well, several ships running around. So if he gathers them all up now and attacks my navy, I'm actually in trouble. Hmm. Is that for everything, or just for the city he's in? You know what, I'll risk it. I'll say it's for everything. And I'll let him... Yeah, I'll let him defend, because he'll probably get attacked this turn. Right then. I need more ships. Maybe Sado actually wants peace. And he I does. Have better things to do than listen to an old and an alliance. Travel. Yes. Speak and try to make sense. <laughs> I just love. What and so we yeah. have an agreement. When friendship and statecraft meet, how could it be otherwise? Yeah, I just love those when they speak. It's excellent. It's very well made. The whole game, I love it.
Now I have this again. But like I said, I like to capture my generals. I don't uh, like to recruit them. Because you lose so much loyalty. Ugh, I hate this one. Because no matter what you pick, there's a 50-50 chance of you picking the wrong one anyway, so... However... The Shogun is the least traditional of uh, the two factions. I know it's, there's a lot of confusion going on about that, but the Emperor was actually the one who was very traditional, trying to kick out the foreigners and all that stuff. The Shogun, the Shogun was the one who was allied with them. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to do the least traditional thing, and I'm going to abolish swords. Ready for battle! And my katana kachi are finished in Noshinanu. Excellent. And where did his little army go? Impossible. That is so annoying that I can't actually see where they went. Oh, if I can just send a spear levy around and he'll attack it and I'll be able to see where he is. Now, Cottage Industry was what I was going to build because uh, it's finishing three turns and I need one more modernization before that happens. Or at the same time that it happens, which is what's going to happen now. Ah, so close. Now this guy, this blue guy down here, he's actually quite big. I think that's Nagoya, unless I'm mistaken. Oh, and uh, here comes my enemy now. Great. Yeah, it's Nagoya. And this fucker decided that is a good idea to come down while it's winter. Derp. Okay. Hmm. Yes, these guys will be adequate to defend uh, Kaga for now. Well, these guys will have to run, run, run. On the move, sir. And there's no one there. Just, I know that he is going to attack one of these cities. That little remnant that he had. I should have just wiped it out while I, while I could still see it. Because he's just going to run in and take one of these cities. However, I need my army to Ready defeat the... Uh, Enemies coming over here. I could just use, you know, Chigo and defend, but I uh, don't think it'll be good enough. Now, I'm sending this gunship over here, this gunboat, because uh, I'll use it as troop transport to transport these two guys, and it'll be faster than actually sending them over land. So, yeah, there we go. I think that's all I can do for now. Maybe some more spell levies. No. Out to your service. Can I make a line of unit? I'll do that. Just to have one over there. Uh, he'll probably just attack Morto or something, that bastard. Then again, he has lost quite a few troops now. Because uh, it's winter, so he keeps losing people to attrition. Taxes and turn off taxes. I'm not making any money anymore, but my sword for you, my I guess that's just the way it has to be. Now I'm gonna start harassing his little army all the way, all the way down. So he'll lose quite a few guys to attrition and a little bit of bombardment. It's not a lot. It's not nearly enough, but it'll have to do. Make haste, man. March. Alright. I can turn on taxes in cargo again. What is your big Are you wish? Are you wish? And I'm gonna send my Geisha to inspire the army. 
There we go. Excellent. Obama wants a military Let alliance. Who like are they all with? Men of many things, and so reach some accord here mm, today. You know what? Yeah, why not? I'll be friends with you since you suggested it and you border my recruitment province. That's a good thing. Let's be friends. Yeah, I was just waiting for that. Now, I'm just curious if he's going to attack Noshinanu or Echigo. If he attacks Echigo, that's good because I'll be having defensive troops up there anyway. And there we go. I'll take civil, because I'm going for the railroad, right there. That's what I want. Yes, my lord. Immediately. Your orders, my lord. Hold speed ahead. Disembark. Ah, I just love that you can use ports like that. And if you just go and went like, what? What the fuck? What's that? Uh, what you can do is, you can use the ports as embark, as, uh, you know, to embark troops to send them on ships without it costing any moves and you can also land troops and send them on you know, send them over land without it costing any moves so that's an excellent way to uh, well to move your troops without costing any moves between cities like that until you get railroads is probably the most effective way of moving your troops as you can see right now I cut down a couple of turns and actually managed to come to my city before him I don't really want to scare him off. I don't really want to scare him away. So I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to leave that one. I guess I'm going to infantry out of the city. This way he'll probably atta end up attacking anyway. And with so many melee units there's no way I can lose. Now I want to beef up my defense over here. Because uh, he has this whole thing. And that Chigo is not actually very big. It doesn't have a lot of defenders. It does have those three Katana Akachi. I do not know if they'll be able to hold out against a giant army on their own. On the move, sir. Ah, too bad. Almost. Predicted minus one. Great. So next turn it'll be fine. So if I turn off tax, turn on taxes, that should be fine. And uh, he's already pro shogun. Excellent. So it should be fine there as well. And the cottage industry is finished. So now I'm making 2,300 every turn. Lovely. For all the money. <laughs> now I hope he won't turn around and start running. He might because of these guys are too close. So I'm just going to send these guys to Noshinanu. Hopefully force my new Numatva enemy to attack Ichigo instead of uh, Noshinanu. God damn it, I hate the imperialist scum. And Sado is, <laughs> he's doing all he can right now. He's just exploiting the situation greatly by attacking my enemy. These guys that are coming down here. He just took one of their provinces up in the north, right, at, right here on the minimap. So he's just, yeah, doing what you're actually supposed to do. Which is when the enemy's distracted, just try get them. And it looks like I actually picked the right choice for once. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. However, these guys are still unhappy. Minus four, actually. Okay. And I can build ports in both of these cities, and I will, because that will give me trade routes. Because both of these cities are linked by land to my capital. So I can use these as uh, trading ports. Now, I believe I will have... One battle this turn and one battle the next. Ready for orders. Hmm. I'll just send that guy in as well. And I'll send these guys to Noshin on him. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I should have kept them close. That way I can uh, use them to finish off the enemies. <coughs> Sorry. To finish off the enemies in Ultra Resolve. Because uh, gun units, as I've said quite a few times now, have a ridiculous amount of... Uh, well, uh, has a ridiculous advantage in battles. 
compared to how effective they actually are in the battle. Now, that isn't to say, you know, the gun units are the most effective in this battle, but melee units are, can just wipe the floor with them if you use them properly. Why is Obama sending an army to Kaga when he just allied me? I don't like that, Obama. Go away. Oh, battle? Mm, oh, so close. Now, if, if those two are allied, if Nagoya and uh, Nemata are allied, you can actually join in on the fun, and he does. He does join in on the fun. Looks like fun on the burn. So, uh, yeah. And he has wooden cannons. I hate those. They're so crap. But for some reason, they're awesome against anything on a wall. So let's see. It's about, yeah, it's a little over 6,000 guys against 2,000 guys at number 3 to 1. This, uh, yeah. Let's see how this goes. See you on the battle map.